Hello, welcome to the first session of Pranayama 1. Although I am going to refer to some sutras and some part of theory, this is a completely uh, practical session. It is a little bit different from the rest of the sessions though because uh, you are not required to do anything with your body or with your breath except to just uh, listen, but whatever I am going to say is pretty important, so please do listen carefully. I have uh, broken up the, this first session into smaller chunks so that you do not have to sit in one place at one time and listen to the whole thing at one go. Uh, we do not want to make a beginning of pranayama with the mind being fatigued or with the body being tired. So, you can definitely listen to them in smaller chunks, but please do listen to the whole thing. Welcome to session 1 of uh, pranayama 1. We are trying to answer some uh, basic and very practical questions before we commence on pranayama journey. Even though I might make some reference to some uh, yoga sutras and uh, to some theory, this is not a theory session. What we are going to talk about today is going to be extremely, totally, practically applicable to our uh, practical experience of pranayama. Who is qualified to do pranayama? Let us see what Patanjali says in the yoga sutras. Tasmin sati shwasa prashwasaha gati vichedaha pranayamaha. Thus means that the after that, having done that, Shwasa Prashwasaha Gati Vichedaha Pranayamaha. The regulation of the incoming and outgoing breath is Pranayama. The word Tasmin Sati is um, important here, and uh, after that, having done that, what is he talking about? We do not have to look far because it refers just to the previous sutra, which says Tvatva Dvandva Anabhikataha. And therein lies the end of dualities. So, just before the limb of uh, pranayama is introduced in the Yoga Sutras, Pratanjali has uh, three sutras where he talks about asanas, and the end result of asanas is the end of dualities. So, we put sutras 2.48 and 2.49 together to answer the question who is qualified for uh, pranayama? So, pranayama should be commenced when A, there is some degree of uh, ease, maybe not absolute mastery, but there is uh, some degree of ease over the base position of pranayama and secondly, where we are not completely tormented and thrown around by dualities, the dualities of life. Dualities are opposites or pairs that we face throughout our lives just from simple weather conditions like hot and cold, things that are uh, favorable to us, things that are unfavorable to us, times we are very happy to times we are very sad. So, all of these are dualities, but of course, the dualities do not end as long as we are alive, the dualities never end. As humans these days, I think it's a, it would be too ambitious to um, claim that we gain mastery over the control of reacting to dualities, I think that is a very evolved uh, practice. But at least in the asanas, the effort is that whatever base position we have taken, we should be relatively comfortable in it, not that we should be absolutely comfortable, but at least we should not be anguished, we should not be tormented by the base position. Apart from the physical uh, duality, the mental duality. So, for example, if we are feeling very sad or we are feeling um, over excited or we are feeling really depressed, those are not times which are uh, suitable for doing pranayama. They are however, good for doing the appropriate asanas and in Iyengar yoga especially, there is a whole lot of therapeutic asanas that can be done. Uh, if one is feeling really low, then doing a supported back arch will bring some relief. Now, some of these supported therapeutic asanas, the positions themselves look like the base positions of pranayama, uh, like a supported viparita dandasana for example, or a supported supta baddha konasana, or a supported purvottanasana. The base positions physically look similar, the props might also be more or less similar, but the internal kriya, the action, the motivation is very different. So, if uh, one is going through the throes of very strong emotions or ends of extreme conditions, 
that is uh, not a proper time, that is not the appropriate time to attempt uh, pranayama.